Dear friends, good morning on Wednesday the 12th of January. In his well-known book, The Four Loves, C.S. Lewis says this about the risk of opening ourselves up to other people. To love at all is to be vulnerable. Love anything and your heart will be wrung and possibly broken. If you want to make sure of keeping it intact, you must give it to no one, not even to an animal. Wrap it carefully round with hobbies and little luxuries. Avoid all entanglements. Lock it up safe in the casket or coffin of your selfishness. But in that casket, safe, dark, motionless, airless, it will change. It will not be broken. It will become unbreakable, impenetrable, irredeemable. To love is to be vulnerable. Paul's love for the church in Philippi rings out from his letter to them that we're looking at at our 10 o'clock services at St Matt's. Here are just three examples. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. God can testify how I long for you with the affection of Christ Jesus. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, you whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, and one of the great aims of his letter is that the church members who are receiving it should have a similar affection for each other. Make my joy complete, he says, by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Now, we may feel like this about members of our family, our spouse or our boy or girlfriend, but I wonder if many of us feel like this about other Christians. To a certain extent, it's a British characteristic to keep ourselves to ourselves and not to get too emotionally involved with other people. But some British characteristics are not gospel attributes. Paul opened his heart to the Philippian Christians and they clearly responded to his love for them. As I said last Sunday, our church's vision to be passionate about Jesus is underpinned by four ministry commitments, discipleship, prayer and worship, mission, and community. But having started preaching on Philippians, I'm now beginning to think that community ought to be our first commitment. When Jesus' love for us and our love for him is seen in our love for each other, we are the disciples that God wants us to be. We worship him as he wants to be worshipped, and we are a credible witness to our world. So, who might the Lord be calling you to go out to in love and friendship? Don't hold back. Be willing to make yourself vulnerable, to open up your heart to other people. You may well be surprised who the Lord leads you to and how they respond to your love. God bless you today.